everyone welcome back it's a lovely sunday morning very early here but i'm happy to say that i see that the sun's peeking through the clouds so welcome to my channel it's angela um got another little project quick and easy sunday project for you today it's going to go into our journal and um I have, this is the one we did the last time, the stack pocket. Um, you can find a video for that on my playlist. Um, and oh, this page is just a little bit bent around there. Um, and then back of that uh, avocado stain page, we've got our little robin page with the dots. And then I'm going to do something on this page. Uh, well, again, it's going to be these two pages really, but both sides of them have the tea stain, um, the Lacy digital from my T Avo and Lace uh, digital pages. So that's what I'm going to do there. All right, so I'm going to just put that to the side. I have clipped that so it's easy for me to access. Um, and I'll just put it there to the side. So what am I going to use? Got a sheet of paper, my favorite. I love things with one sheet of paper, really quick and easy. Now, what I have done is I have scored a little line. It's probably. Um, let me think about a centimeter, which is about uh, just short of just over 0.3 of an inch. OK, so it's not um, very big at all. Um, it doesn't have to be um, exactly that size. It's there or thereabouts. OK, so I've done it on that side. So I don't think you can see on the camera here, but you can see I've got a little line just there um, and I've got one here on that side as well. So I'm going to just fold those over like that and use my bone folder and um, this is just to reinforce the edge of my pages which i like to do with folds and pockets and things as you know so i'm going to do that side um, and as i said again on this side and that's going to be perfect keep it nice and strong i always worry about the pages tearing um you know with lots of use so I'm just taking my glue and going to stick the edge down there just so that it's going to stay in place and not hamper what I'm going to put in there. So just give that a nice little bit of glue um, and then make sure it's it's lying flat. All right, so we've got that one there and then the same on the side here. So what are you guys doing? I know some of you are enjoying some beautiful weather down in the Southern Hemisphere. We are jealous. <laughs> and some of you I see on the news have had some really awful weather in, um, is it the Kentucky area? I saw in the news has had devastating winds and tornadoes. Um, our thoughts are with you guys. I hope none of you are, um, have had any harsh damage to anything and you're all all right. So... You know that's the most important thing that you are all right um our thoughts are with you definitely there gosh that must be awful i've never experienced anything like that so i can't begin to imagine but it doesn't sound good and it definitely doesn't look good um so thoughts to you and your families in the if you're in that area wow Right, I have now just folded this in half, as you saw. I've just matched up these two sides here like that um, and run my bone folder over that. Okay, uh, what we need to do now is uh, we need to fold this in half the other way. So I'm just going to hold this here. And this is tricky because it wants to move. And let's just grip those together there. I'm going to hold that there like that. Then I want to just fold this back on itself so we've got quarters like this. Um, and I could have just scored this, but you know, this way at least you get it in the center. Um, and there we go. It doesn't matter what size page you're using, um, whether you're using US letter or A4, um, you know, it's going to work the same way. All right, so we've got an opening here. We've got an opening here. We will get to dealing with that. Um, and everything is looking great there. Okay, now um, what I want to do just for the outer edge here is I've got a little scrap of fabric. It is really a scrap, um, cotton, cotton. I want to just stick this over this fold line here. So I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac, I think. 
think I'm going to use that. Um, and I want to just, you can also use uh, masking tape, put some on the inside if you prefer. I wouldn't put too much on here because it's going to hamper this lying flat when you fold it in half. So um, I am mindful of that. Right, let's just put some glue onto the fabric here. A little bit of glue. Whichever glues you normally use if you are sticking down fabric. Okay, so just get that nicely. There we go. Okay. Right. And now I'm just going to stick this over the bit over here in the middle. Just gauging it. I can feel where the middle is, luckily. All right. Now, I'm not going to fold those over. I will end up probably um, just fraying them a bit more um, like that. Um, maybe I might just trim this side a little bit more like that. Oh, that wasn't very straight, was it? Okay, and then um, I might just fray that a little later. Right. Yeah, so while, while that's drying there, I think what I'm going to do is, if you're not going to sew, then um, take your glue and just run a little bead of glue just along there and there. All right, I'm just going to go and sew around there. Um, and purely that's just because it's my style. But of course, the glue would work just as well. All right, I'll be back here in a moment. Okay, so you can see I've just sewn along the edges there and we have our pockets open on that side. Okay, so um, I think what I'll do is just across the middle here, where we've got that fold line, I'm going to just run a little bead of glue just across there. And you've got to make it thin. Um, and why I say that is, if it's too thick, then you risk the chance of um, the glue spreads out, even though it's thin, um, and then it makes your pocket narrower. So just be mindful of that when you're making actual tags to go inside. All right, so um, that's caught me out many a time, and that's probably why I end up um, stitching. I have more of a, a, a space, you know. <laughs> right, so we've got that like that now. So we've got a little page hanger that's going to go over the edge of the page and i quite like how that has turned out right now what i want to do is quickly do some decoration let's just um get that nice and flat with our bone folder like that there we go right now mindful of the pockets so i'm going to have it this way um because of my page on the right but of course if you want it on the left I'd turn it that way so that your tags are coming out this way and not going into your signature. So just be mindful of that as well. Right, so we've got that on the front here. I've got some layering bits that I want to put on here. So I'm just going to get those goodies to the side here. Um, now I'm using bits and pieces. This is a, a little image from my um, ephemera kit, a lovely lady holding a Christmas tree. I do love those images. I'm going to use my oxide. Um, I've torn out um, some scrappy bits that I've got left over here in my tray. And um, I keep everything in a tray, as you know. It just makes it easier for me to find things, and I know it's all in one place. So at the end of each project, I throw it all into my tray here and I'll show you what it looks like and it's quite full so you can see everything goes in there it's not even neat because it's a work in progress but those trays are so helpful right this is from my um happy holidays one of the backing pages so I've got that this is from a freebie in my Facebook group so one of the little I did a five page kit there for free um, this is going to layer up on there like that. Or oh, actually, I'll probably turn it a little bit so I don't want it all even. And then we're going to put this on there as well. Okay, so that's what we're going to do on that side. So let's get started with that. I think I'll start with this one. I use my fabric tack. It's um, just because it's next to me here. And I'm going to start putting down some of these 
bits. So I hope um, everybody's having some fun crafting and um, keeping themselves busy. Um, and you still enjoying all those videos. Um, I've been having a, a great time catching up on the videos as well. So from other people, which I don't often get much time to do anymore. I've, I'm working flat out at the moment. Uh, as I know we all are, but um, you know, I've managed to get through some of those on my watch list that I wanted to catch up with, which is lovely. I'm going to just angle this slightly the other way, like that, I think. Let's just see. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to stick that down. And then this little image here, I'm going to just glue that one as well. Now you could stitch around this image, but I'll do that uh, before you put your pocket together, you know. Um, and it wasn't necessary, so I thought, no, I won't do that. Right, so we've got this, um, this one over there. And that looks lovely, I like that. Um, and now I've got a little bit of lace. Um, this comes from Plum Boutique, from my... Christmas lace lot, lot. I'm going to just stick that across the bottom there, I think. So let's do that. So put it on the lace directly, I think. That would be better than smearing it over the picture and then it's not quite in the right place. <laughs> I did have that thought and I thought, no, let's do it this way. Right, I think I want it there, just at the bottom of the dress, um, like that. There we go. Right, that's great. And then I can just take my very sharp scissors and just cut that off. There we go. Easily done. Okay, coming along. Then again, looking at what I have, <laughs> I've got one of my little skeleton leaves. It comes from my dotted green paper I've cut out. So I'm going to put that on the bottom there. And I've got just a little bit of um, this rose gold glitter. And I'm going to just stick that over there just to bring out the pinks. So that's going to look great. Oh, and this, uh, I prefer using this for these Sizzix. And this is quite difficult to, <laughs> well, not difficult, but uh, tedious to get the glue on all these little bits. But, you know, it is, it is easily done when you've got a, a little fine point nozzle, I must say. So just grip it at the end there. There we go, job is done. So we're gonna just angle this. I don't want it to go over the edge there, so we'll just get it like that. Okay, and then this little one as well. Just stick that down. There we go. Oh, Christmas is getting closer. Um, I hope you guys have all made a start at least, or, you know, I'm never, one to be organized i think it's just too much happening for me at the moment you know there's just so much i get focused on that it's hard for me to um have all the balls in the air you know they're, they're all sort of in the air but they're falling down just in time <laughs> i'm hoping to get my act together soon <laughs> i hope i hope i'm not the only one that you know seems to be juggling balls at the moment right i've got my little sentiment here i just wanted a little bit of font coming through and i think that finishes that side off what do you guys think okay so i quite like that it looks nice and shabby right now remember this is gonna um hang over a page so you don't want to open it up and put your um, images that way because when you put, put it on the page, it's going to be the wrong way. So here's the opening on that side. You see, just as well, I check. Um, and then I'm going to do a similar thing here. So let's just grab our little bits and pieces. Again, I've just got one of these little scrappy bits and going to just quickly distress that. There we go. All right. Have you all been baking? I do love baking. Um, I used to uh, have a previous job where my role was 
to design uh, new products for a very prestigious supermarket chain. Well, it's a good few years back now. Um, and I used to make all the Christmas lines and all the biscuits. And we used to have 32 different variants for Christmas bakes, cakes, Stalin, Panettone. Oh my gosh, it was Panforte. It was delicious. Christmas puddings. Gosh, I miss those. And I do love Christmas fair, let me tell you. I do. Shortbread chocolate biscuits oh my goodness I could go on forever make you hungry <laughs> and it was fantastic um I did that for 14 years it was a lot of fun um we had this cabbage chocolate plant running through the middle of it and it was delicious <laughs> as you can believe yeah but you know like all things you get sick of it and I am a complete chocoholic but even I got sick of it um but yeah nothing like that lovely warm melted chocolate running through oh here's another little image um and i love that adorable little girl with a christmas tree so we're gonna stick that down yeah we used to eat uh, they used to make millionaire shortbread on shortbread flour shaped biscuits and lovely sponge fingers enrobed in that proper kuvacha chocolate and oh my gosh it was delicious um just thinking about this one now i'm gonna have it this way right messing about with this one on uh, there angela okay there we go right back to the fabric tack we got a little piece of lace put some glue on that one again i think this one's slightly too long but we will sort that out in a minute are you guys biscuit people? And if so, what's your favourite biscuit? I do love... I wonder if I should put that... No. No. We'll put it here. Okay. Um, I love... Um, my favourite biscuits are chocolate digestives. I know that sounds very boring, especially the, the biscuits I used to get involved with. But you can't beat a good chocolate digestive. Oh, my goodness. I do love them. And Jaffa Cakes. I think those are my faves. Both have chocolate on them, as you've noticed. Because um, I'm terrible. Right. I thought this one was apt for this little girl. Naughty or nice. <laughs> love these sentiments. I really do. I do love sentiments. Right, so we're going to put this down as well. There we go. This is a little quick project today, isn't it? I think I'm going to just put it up this end, just so it's not um, over the little sentiment there or covering the little girl anymore. Right, and then again just a little die cut for the bottom there so we'll get that stuck down so i've gone through your christmas films last week um and i'm lo i'm looking forward to seeing what your favorite biscuits are now this week <laughs> so leave it in the comments below i hope to catch up with those comments today gosh i am behind please forgive me um but I will do so later. Yeah. Right, so there we have that. How do I want that? Yeah, let's just angle it a little lower, I think. Okay, I'm loving how that's looking. Now all that remains to do, the moment of truth. I've taken two of my mini pages, that one's that way. Um, I've cut off the frames mostly to size into here um, and I had these over and I thought these would be perfect so I've just added a little tab on there and you will find tabs in the add-on kit as well um, I've just backed it onto recycled card here from packaging so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the robin in the side like that oh well he fits fine yay 
And then on this side, I can put the um, the candles, the old fashioned candles, and that will just slide in there like that. How cool is that? Loving that. Right, I'm so glad to see that the camera hasn't fallen down on the desk at the moment because I did break it before I did this video. Oh my goodness. Right, I haven't decorated anything further and I have considered putting a nice fabric or lace pocket down here. It might be lace, I'm going to see. Um, and I just love that page. So this now is going to go over this page like this. And how gorgeous is that? Now, what you could do, um, and I might do this, is on the back here, might put some of this lace paper or just tea stained paper, just as a journaling spot. Um, you know, you could put a little tuck spots or pockets or anything there. So that I'm still thinking about. But uh, I'm, I'm loving this. Um, I've made this before with, with envelopes, but I thought, well, you know, um, this is perfect because you don't have to cover the envelopes and much quicker. So how amazing does that look? Especially with those lovely ladies and everything there and the lace. All right, everyone, that's our Sunday project today. Go and give it a go. I know that you're going to be able to use this in many journals really quick and easy. Um, and I look forward to seeing what you think about it. So go and enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Um, off to make the Sunday dinner. I'll see you very soon next week on Tuesday. So have a fab week and goodbye.